Apparently Scarlett Johansson is bad for wanting to be an actress. You guys, have you heard about this? When I, when I say have you heard about this, it's like I, I'm doing Jay Leno's uh, monologue. You guys heard about this? You, you, you see what's in the news? <laughs> so apparently she's bad for her because she wants to be able to play an act, uh, a person in a movie who's not white. This is terrible. And to me, this just screams... Either it's fake or it's it's white people trying to virtue signal. White people complaining about this, trying to stand up for people who don't exist, people who aren't offended. She was already in that movie called Ghost in the Shell, which is a movie they essentially made for Japan. If you've seen it, you'll understand. They paid her $17.5 million for that, and they released it in Japan first. Yeah, I did some research, okay? So they released it in Japan first, and then there's videos out there about people being offended because it's a white person and a lot of white people in the cast when it's a Japanese story. I pretty sure it's based on like a graphic novel or I remember it being a video game when I was a kid. But they asked people in Japan, no one cared. There's a video out there, no one cares. And so that's why I think it's white people trying to be like, these poor Japanese people, we gotta stand up for them. It's unintentional comedy, these people. Unintentional comedy, look at this tweet. Look at this guy. I found this the other day. Anyone not understand white privilege? Here's Scar Joe to demonstrate it for you. Exclamation point. First of all, bro, if you think somebody sucks, don't refer to them by their cute name. Scar Joe. You kidding me? <laughs> I hate Ben Affleck and Jennifer Aniston. I hate Benifer. <laughs> what are you doing? So here's Scar Joe to demonstrate it for you. This is her quote. I should be allowed to play any person or any tree or any animal. Scarlett Johansson opens out opens up about politically correct casting. Dude, that's literally what acting is. You're mad at somebody for wanting to play pretend? Not do blackface, which I like and take pictures of it. Not go around yelling at people. But for playing pretend? You hate this girl? Just don't see the movie. That's all you have to do. If enough people agree with you, then nobody's going to see the movies that she's in or completely boycott her. That's the real test, you know? Does someone make music you don't like? Here are your options. Listen carefully. Listen or don't. <laughs> you can listen or don't listen. You can watch Scarlett Johansson or you can not watch her because she's cool. I don't find Don Lemon very exciting. Guess what I don't do? First of all, I don't call him uh, Donnie. I don't know, what's Don Lemon's cute nickname? I call him Don Lamone, because I, I think he's probably not, uh, probably didn't like that one. But guess what I don't do is watch him, because I don't like him. You can get all the outrage you want, but at the end, what point are you, are you just their fan? My friend uh, Dave and I used to talk about this with Insane Clown Posse, and I'd want to watch um, their freestyles, because they're so unbelievably bad. And no disrespect to them, I think ICP gets a bad rap. They're labeled as a gang somehow when they're just, you know, guys dressed as clowns. But I would put these on and he's like, you're a fan of them. And I'm like, no, I'm not. He's, but he had a point, because at what point when you're just watching something ironically, does it become that you're supporting them? Because you're watching them all the time. So now they're saying that there's outrage over Ariel and the Little Mermaid being black. I think it's supposed to be Halle Berry playing her. Apparently there's a story behind Ariel from uh, The Little Mermaid, which I had no idea. Apparently she's Norwegian. And that's fine. She's Norwegian. Not many Norwegians are black. If you want to keep her white, then go ahead. But oh wait, I forgot. It's a cartoon. Who cares? <laughs> They're not changing like slaves in an epic motion picture into Australian guys. You know what I mean? This is still a cartoon. It's still a make-believe story. They're not changing the Holocaust to be, uh, instead of Jews, they're making a guy from Queens. They're not making a bagel guy. You know? You think people don't say that to me on dating sites? But really, would you change Ho Pocahontas to an Italian guy from Queens? <laughs> is that something we can still do? I don't know. I don't know where to, to stand on this. I just don't care, I guess, because it's a cartoon. But if Bagel Guy played her? My god. I'm over here singing with the voices of the wind and shit. 
and I got the pain of the clouds, or the, the colors of the mountains, and this girl's calling me short? I mainly do that for me. So, for this one for Ariel, not Scarlett Johansson, but for this one for Ariel, I knew this was going to be a fake one. I was like, there's no way people actually cared about this, because it's been going on so long where they're just like, the Scarlett Johansson thing was last year or two years ago, I think. It's been going on so long, nobody cares. So I looked into it a bit and checked this out. The backlash over the Little Mermaid casting of Black Ariel is fake news. Thank God somebody wrote. Thank God there's somebody who has this mindset of just not believing all this stuff and actually wrote something. So people ended up writing all these stupid articles about it. And it turns out it's all from one guy's tweeting. And not only is it all just from one guy, it's a fake account. Like, they're just using random crap. It's not a real person's opinion. Somebody was just like, I bet you... BuzzFeed and Vox and everyone's going to write articles about this if I say that I'm a, a white woman who's outraged that they've changed my childhood. Ariel's no longer white. He's a Jamaican guy from Queens, actually. So he's been, he was grabbing stuff from different sources and pretending it was actually people being outraged. So here's the tweet that's from this viral tweet complaining about the Little Mermaid casting being racist has a profile pic stolen from an Instagram model, blah, blah, blah. The other one is from Pinterest. So people see one thing that's fake and they buzzfeed the shit out of it. And the media wants people to be racist so bad that everyone's like, all this outrage, I didn't believe it from the start. I'm pretty proud of myself for being able to call this one out. There's so many hate crimes now. And of course, pe uh, fake hate crimes, I meant, Jussie. Of course, some people do suck. Of course, racist people do exist. But if people find out that there's way fewer racist things and people going on that there, than there actually are, then they're going to start talking about stuff that matters. And that's what scares a lot of these, these news articles, uh, sorry, these newscasters and these cable networks. Because if we don't have things to be outraged about, first of all, that goes against like that everything horrible under Trump. Have real complaints, but like everything has to be end of the world under Trump. It's not good for CNN if we start talking about the things aren't most racist and terrible they've ever been. And then it's bad for these places like Vox and BuzzFeed and Crapple uh, number nine and list articles about things that you don't really, you know what I hate? That reminds me, I hate the life hacks. There's usually the dumbest thing ever. Hey, did you know that you can tie your shoes two different ways? Did you know you could use gum to stick things to other things? Life hacks are just, someone's like, we need to post something today. And that's the same thing with all these other things. If they run out of outrage this, outrage that, there goes half of their, their viewership right there. They don't got articles to last days. They don't have the money without this to pay both a blue-haired girl and a green-haired girl to write for them. They don't have money for that if the outrage goes away. So... When it, as outrage culture comes to a close, which I hope that it is soon, then you're going to see some of these places firing more people. Vice has fired people. BuzzFeed has fired people. Um, the DNC's fired people. I don't know. This is what's going to happen if the outrage machine stops, the gears start stop turning, and all of a sudden we're going to find out that maybe everybody doesn't hate each other as much as they say they do. And that's a problem for places like CNN.